So in this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a on-click event on a bar chart when we click on a specific bar. For example, this one, if I click on this, there you are, you will recognize which bar we clicked on and add the value. And if I do that on any one of those, there we are, you'll keep on changing the value by adding a plus one. So to do this, the first thing what we need is our boiler template, which you can find here on chartjs3.com getting started. Once you're on here, scroll down and then copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to have the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page. And of course, got a question, put it on Discord. So what we're going to do now is we're going to scroll down here and then in the options, we're going to use the on-click functionality here. This here basically allows us to create an on-click event, but let me show you how this works. So we can say event, comma, and then here, the chart element. And then here we do a arrow uh, function expression, and then in here, we can start to work. So what I want to do here, first of all, is to show you the console log. Let me say here, for example, the event itself. In this case, if you would click, there you are, you can see here the type is a click, gives us information. If you click on this here, it just gives us the basic information of where we clicked and what's the X and Y coordinates of this. What is more interesting is when you click a specific chart element, or in this case, you could even say this would be a bar element, because we're going to click one of the bars. So when we do this, you can see now we're getting a lot more information, specifically here, on the data set index and the index number and of course the element of that specific bar is all the related items of course if i just press here on the um, white space in that case we get no information the length is zero because there is no bar here but if i click on this you will see here we have one item here one index zero here because we have the bar all right so this is all nice let's start to make something useful out of it so what we could do here is the following well let me just show you you can say your console log and then what i would like to do here is get this bar element but only show the index zero now if i click it will just give us all the details inside of this and then basically with this it allows us to tell us which bar we click on but if I click on the white space here, it gives it undefined because there's no length on this value, of course. So what I'm going to do here is, let's say here, and then we're just going to grab one of these items here. Uh, well, you see here the bar element, you have the data set index, and you have the index. So the data set index would indicate in which data set we are. In this case, we only have one data set, so that's always index zero. But the index will indicate which data here. So let me just show you exactly how we can get some information here and then play around with it. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say here constant. And let's say here data set. And the data set would be the bar element dot data set index. Then what I want to do here, constant. And let me say here data point. We're just going to grab the bar element specifically. We just grab, grab all of that. And then here, we just want to have the index will give us the data point. You can see here that one here. So now we can do the following. What I would like to do is when we click on a specific bar, I want to change that bar by adding an extra value to it. So how do we do this? Well, we say here the following. Uh, first of all, we have to make sure that we have at least a bar element with a length. So I'm going to say if bar element dot length. Uh, if this is the case, let's grab all of this. Then we should be able to see something. That would mean that if we would click on the white space, it will hide it. Let's remove all this extra space here. Save this and just test this. Nope. Uh, let's see if bar element here, what's going on? And of course, my bad, you can see here, I made this mistake, not allowed. Let's remove this and then just leave that one in there. Save that. Refresh. All right, so that works. Now, if I click, there we are. If I click on the white space, it doesn't show anything. That's what I want. 
So we filtered the white noise out. So let's start to now continue on creating something very straightforward. So what I want to do is here for the event. And then what I want to do then is go into the chart object. So let me just show you if I do this here, just press the event. This is what I want to do. If I click on this, we can see here we get all the information that I get here as well, the chart object, which is basically going into this chart here. So now I could go here quickly to the, um, let's see here, the data. Do we have that here? It's probably somewhere in the object itself. Can't see it here, doesn't matter. Somewhere, somewhere between there. But what I could do here is basically the following. So I would say event chart dot data and let's say dot data set set specifically because basically what i'm doing is from the chart i'm just going straight away into the data object here and then i want to go in here so we already know which index number because we have here the data set value and i'm going to say here dot data and the data will be the data point which is the index number here if we do a console log we should now have something nice you should get the number out from which one we click on so let's click on 18 we see here 18 12 and this one number three there we are all right that all works let's remove this now what i want to do here is something just something small for here so we're going to grab all of this i'm going to say here the following we'll say here plus equals one so whatever is the value of this i want to add one when i click of course when you do this it will not work straight away why we need to tell the chart to update afterwards so i'm going to say here event dot chart then dot update so update after the click let's save that there we are and now as you can see here as we do this it updates and the numbers will start to change as well and there we are that's it